what's up guys this is ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 40 and today also we'll be going to talk about one more example but this is uh, example exercise we'll be going to use enum method along with the match operator in the last tutorial we have used enum method with if and let so now uh, we are going to use enum method with match operator but this time also we'll be going to use the same use case for example it will ask user to give some enter depending on whether he passed or failed depending on the user input it will create an enum with pass variant and after that it will be going to check whether user is uh, eligible for scholarship or not so first it will um, do some if else uh, like checking with the user input uh, and then it will go in it will go and create the enum instance and from the enum instance it will check the pattern whether it is pass or fail from the uh, match operator and after that it will do some sort of a calculation and some uh, result will be generated okay so let me quickly open my id okay so it should be first thing should be use uh, okay use um, std io this okay and then it this should be hash then derive debug okay then our famous example exam okay so pass i32 okay then fail i32 okay now we'll be going to create the enum from the user input okay so it will be going to ask end user please enter pass if you passed else enter fail so depending on the user input only pass and fail uh, input will be considered so then uh, declare let mute result is going to be string is tring this okay and what will happen now so it will be io dot stdin okay dot read line and this and it will be ampersand mute and we'll be going to use result okay and it expects some expect so so error occurred while reading so then so now we'll be going to match this thing so it will be if let's result dot trim quite trim so there will be some unwanted spaces or new line character and it will be matched with pass okay then we'll be going to create the enum with pass variant else we'll be going to else 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 if this is fell I'm going to use something else or else it will be print with invalid input okay so now we'll be going to define the pass variance so again it will be going to ask the end user the same thing okay so the score actually so let's write this things here actually so we're going to just change this thing please enter the score you enter the score for pass so we'll check something score underscore pass okay so here also we'll be going to change score underscore pass okay and now the main thing we're going to instance create the instance of this enum so it will be exam underscore one 
so it will be exam then pass and inside that we'll be going to use this variable but the variable is in the string so we have to change it into integer so for that score underscore pass dot trim okay then parse okay then this then i32 then dot simple okay so we are converting this thing into string okay this is done so let's print this thing now so we'll check whether our uh, thing is created properly or not so this and let's print exam one so for the fail variant also we need the same thing okay so let me just copy this thing it will be easier actually so enter the score for fail okay so it will be score fail so where it will be score fail okay so we'll be going to use score fail okay and in our case this will be score 2 x sorry enum 2 and this is fail so we'll be going to print exam 2 okay so that's it so uh, let's uh, check the uh, check if the first part is working or not so what is happening here so we have create define the enum here and after that we are creating the instance of the enum using the user input if user enters that he passed then it will go to this if block and it will ask user to enter the pass mark and it is going to uh, define the uh, sorry going to create the instance of this enum and after that we will be going to print this thing so same thing will be going to applicable if the user enters fails but if something else is inputted then uh, it will throw an error okay and error means invalid input not error so actually we did this thing in the last tutorial as well so let me check pass it will ask 100 so see we got pass 100 so let's run this thing see I enter uh, the uh, pass or fail I enter pass it will ask for the score for pass I enter 100 it is pass 100 so let's run this thing so let right fail it will ask for the fail so let me 40 59 so see fail so now we'll be going to enter something else a b c so see invalid input so our first part is done now we'll be to check we'll be going to check whether this value is uh, eligible for uh, like uh, uh, scholarship or not and this value is eligible for uh, like uh, repeat test or not, sorry retest or not so okay so for that thing uh, we'll be going to um, uh, what do you say so we'll be going to check uh, uh, something uh, similar okay uh, i'm just thinking uh, how to do that uh, okay so we'll be going to use the match operator so before that uh, here we, we are going to create the enum method so it will be impl exam okay and after that it should be check and inside that it should be it should be self and we'll be going to get one mark check okay so and this should be i32 okay so uh, Mm. let's see uh, yes i32 I okay so depending on that uh, we'll see how it is going to work so mm, and this is going to return bool okay okay now so let's say match is going to work on this uh, this value actually so this is going to be um, match star self the we are de creating the de-reference de de-referentiating this self and after that okay so now the value will be exam this pass then value okay if this pattern founds then what will happen it is going to return uh, uh, value greater than mark underscore ch okay like this okay what is saying exhaustive patterns fail not cover okay so fail not cover actually that is why you are getting this thing okay 
and if it is fail so what is going to happen so the value which user got for the fail it will be compared with uh, 40 uh, it will become it will be checked uh, with this thing so it will be like uh, uh, 40 minus value less than 10 it will be going to compare with this thing okay what is happening here one dead code uh, method uh, when it could never used mm. so this is done this is bull this is bull why this is showing dead code uh, one one default no fixable method is never used checked okay right so this check method I haven't called this thing so that is why it's showing this thing so let's create a variable here okay so let so actually calling this thing here check so this is, will, will define this thing mark equals to i32 equals to 80 so actually for all scholarship we need the marks 80 actually so if user scores 80 it will be checked against the value if the value is greater than 80 user will be eligible for scholarship and here actually the pass mark is 40 so we are going to check whether user uh, like failed by uh, fail user failed by uh, 10 marks or more if user fail marks is uh, failed by less than 10 marks then he is eligible for this thing okay so variable mark uh, consider fixing this underscore unused variable mark so what will happen now so let create let x okay equals to uh, exam underscore one dot check and here we'll be going to use this mark okay like this okay so same thing will be applicable here as well but this time it will be y okay and the same thing we can call this thing but no matter okay so uh, mm, I'm just thinking mm, how to do this thing this is done this is done then we need to print this thing okay if X if X is true then print uh, you are so it means where if this value is getting true then it will be like if you are if you are eligible for scholarship if pattern is matched uh, with pass pa pass variant then it will be going to check if the value is greater than uh, 80 means this value is 80 so it will be true so it will be scholarship if not you are not eligible for scholarship like this thing this is very simple so this will be this this you are not eligible for scholarship okay done so we'll be going to do the same thing here as well but with y okay if y means uh, if variant is uh, fail so it is be going to check whether this minus uh, 40 minus this value means this is the pass marks uh, value for the pass mark is less than uh, 10 then he is eligible for retest you are eligible for retest you are not eligible for okay fine so that's it I think every everything is Oh, actually I did something else so it will be here actually I I did a mistake it will be you are eligible for scholarship for here actually and you are not eligible for scholarship will be here right 
so here it will be y eligible for retest and here you are not eligible for retest okay so that's it so uh, what is happening here Un undetermined double quote string mm -hmm. Un unterminated double quoted string where it is actually I don't know so this is this this is this is for this if this is for this else so this is the block and this block starts from here and ends with here actually okay some error with this thing then actually this thing is in here and same thing this is this this is this and this is for this if block and this in block so i am not sure why this is saying unterminated uh, string okay actually it is here not here so yeah okay so that's it guys so let's run this thing now okay enter the value you pass or failed so pass so it will ask for the pass mark so first you enter 60 so now it will say uh, that you are not eligible because definitely 60 is less than 80 you are not eligible for scholarship next we'll check again pass let's say 81 you are eligible for scholarship so it's working fine for pass now let's check with fail so let's put uh, 31 so it should say you will eligible for retest you are eligible for retest so let's check again with uh, 12 so you are not eligible for retest definitely 40 minus uh, uh, 40 minus 12 is less not less than 10 greater than 10 so that is why so now we'll try to use something different invalid input okay fine so guys you understand now so this two tutorials are going to help you to create some different use case think uh, analytically for other use case as well so at the time of actual uh, system programming so uh, you are going to handle much more complex case but if you are familiar with this thing uh, pattern matching handling with enum using enum methods and that using match operator then definitely you will be able to learn uh, so many uh, things as well okay so what i'll do guys i will try uh, i will i will upload this source code as well and and and, and definitely will guys get the ppt but for for this tutorial i don't think so ppt is going to help you only this code so so just follow this three step steps uh, try to watch this video two three times uh, pause it try to understand if you are having, having any doubt or question do some sort of google uh, you can follow the last official documentation as well as you can ask me okay and second once you are done with this tutorial uh, try to write the code uh, by your own okay if you are not going to practice then definitely will forget if you see the syntax is completely different and the, the more we are going inside the uh, advanced topics and the syntax and other things will be difficult but again if you know the concepts if you are clear about all your uh, if you're clear on your uh, uh, like if you're clear with all the different uh, components like basic building blocks or uh, uh, if you already cleared the basic building blocks like if else structure in a method ownership and other different things then it is not going to harm you but if you're not clear if you're still struggling with to uh, to understand the different uh, pieces of rust how to like combine all those things together then it will be definitely help you so for example here if you so use if else you use uh, user input method you use comparison you use enum you use enum method you use match operator and uh, as well as you used uh, uh, what do you use you have used string to uh, integer conversion so seven eight different uh, piece of things we have used so in act, at the actual system programming time your things will be much more harder than this okay and also there is something called object oriented programming concept so now you can understand that how much uh, like uh, this is going to be complex in the longer run so 
my uh, like humble request to try to do some sort of practice or else you will definitely forget and in between if you find any difficulties i'm always there you can ask me okay so enough of talking guys we'll see you in the next video but in from the next video onwards we'll be going to start a new topic so rust uh, enum is completed structure is completed we cover all the use cases so i'm not saying this is the last use case definitely we'll cover some other use case but in between if you guys are having some uh, interesting use case please uh, send out to me i'll try to include all the things okay so that's it guys but before i uh, end this topic guys please whoever is watching our channel for the first time please subscribe to our channel hit the like button and press the bell icon as well if you want to get the notification from the next video and 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 thank you very much for all the udemy students for purchasing this course is actually helping me a lot you guys are amazing and because of you guys i am actually uh, get some I'm actually uh, get some additional motivation to create uh, more and more content. So same thing is applicable for you. Whenever in doubt, please feel free to reach out to me via Udemy message box. I'll always available there. I can answer all your queries immediately. So once again, have a nice day. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye and happy learning.